The latest developments tonight on the investigation into a tragic infant death in Warwick as the child's father remains behind bars at the ACI charged with child neglect. The Pinpoint News Tracker takes you to Airway Road in Warwick where seven-month-old Willow Ramos was found not breathing by her mother inside their home Tuesday night. Investigators are still trying to figure out how she died. And new at six, we're learning more about DCYF's involvement. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright is in our newsroom with more. Shannon, Mike, a lot of people are wondering if the baby's death could have been prevented. DCYF investigated the family that lived at this house here twice before, but both times found that the claim was unsubstantiated. I talked to DCYF over the phone to find out what their protocol is for handling these types of allegations. The medical examiner's office is working to determine how seven-month-old Willow Ramos died, which is still unknown, three days after police responded to her Warwick house. The infant's father is charged in connection with her death. Dennis Reel with the Department of Children, Youth and Families says his agency is investigating. He wouldn't comment specifically on this case because of privacy laws, but he says DCYF takes every claim of child neglect seriously. He says the agency gets 15,000 phone calls about suspected child abuse every year. Last year, investigators found most of the claims unsubstantiated. But if it's a confirmed case, it's referred to family court. And if the court sustains the allegation, the case is assigned to a social worker who works with the family. I think that DCYF, um, it, it is always an, a, um, an ongoing um, effort for all child welfare agencies throughout the United States, including Rhode Island, to improve. And so I think DCYF has been under um, a lot of internal review of its processes, a lot of reforms happening there. DCYF says unless there's strong evidence of abuse or neglect, the agency is limited in what it can do. One thing they can do, which happens often, is they refer families to community-based providers for domestic mental health and other services. Live in the newsroom, Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.